as we reported on this newscast Monday night, the Austin-based Glimmer of Hope Foundation is raising hundreds of thousands of dollars to send food and water to famine and drought-stricken countries on the Horn of Africa. This evening, Jim Swift takes a closer look at that fund drive and at a rather unusual source for some of that money. Late last year, Grace London and her little brother Max went with their parents to Ethiopia. It seems that nine-year-old Max had done some fundraising and come up with thousands of dollars to build some wells in an impoverished part of the country. There was a whole big parade and they had like signs uh, saying long live Max and his family and it was just really, really surreal and everyone was lining up and the kids were singing and holding up Ethiopian flags and so just kind of walked down and that was amazing. Yeah, they were excited. Yeah, and I was, I was really, really proud of my brother because it was a great thing. During her three-week stay in Africa, 11-year-old Grace got the chance to fetch water the way people there used to do, from a contaminated open well using a rope and bucket. It wasn't easy, and in the process, the rope slipped from her hands. And it, it was just, it was so embarrassing, and I'm such a klutz, so it was very typical for me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Back in the U.S., Grace London returned to her life, which includes fronting Residual Kid, a rock and roll band made up of 11, 12, and 13-year-old musicians. But Grace couldn't get her new African friends out of her mind or her heart. We saw the school entirely made out of sticks. It had no roof. And for seats, the kids were sitting on clumps of dry mud, listening to the teacher, and all they had in the room was a chalkboard. Grace knew she was in a position to help. Since last November, she staged a solo benefit concert at Paji House, then another solo gig at the Driscoll Hotel. And just last weekend, she and the band did a fundraising gig at Skinny's Ballroom downtown. Altogether, she has collected right at $20,000 most of it dedicated to the Glimmer of Hope campaign to help relieve famine in Somalia, Kenya, and Ethiopia. This is something so crucial and something so awful is happening right now, and I think it's definitely time to help. Jim Swift, KXAN News. And by the way, Grace and the Residual Kid Band will make an appearance on KXAN News today, this Sunday morning with Katina McHenry. Meanwhile, you can learn more about what Glimmer of Hope is doing in East Africa and make a donation, too, through some links on our website. Just click on this story on the local news page at KXAN.com.